Hello good people of YouTube, All About Nat is back with another video and today we're going to be talking two things. I'm, number one I'm going to be showing you um, yet another Off-White raffle winning shoe. Since Off-White have been doing their sneakers with Nike, I have won five shoes in total. Yes, I know, it's crazy. But we will go into that in just a second. Um, the first issue I want to talk about, well, it's not an issue, but I've not spoken mental health. God, it's long overdue, put it that way. Um, I know a lot of people who do sub to my channel like a little bit of everything. I know there are the very, very, well, I know there are quite a lot of people who are sub to my channel for Supreme. Um, and as you know, I do three things on this channel. I talk about mental health, I talk about Supreme, streetwear, and I talk about sneakers. So today I'm going to be doing sneakers and mental health. Um, because I think it's really important, my channel is real life, and it did start off very much about um, the general struggles with real life you know life isn't easy there are ups and downs and we know that um, and I just want to kind of bring it back to that now I'm not saying for one minute that I'm I'm having a massive struggle because I'm not um, my life has has turned around since I started my job in the care home where I do activities I'm the activities coordinator in a care home and that has given me a massive boost but I'd say in the past couple of weeks two three weeks there has been a bit of a wobble um, and it's been my own head lack of confidence worrying about what people think about me um, and that kind of goes alongside this channel I do worry about you know are people liking what I'm doing I do worry about whether my channel you know is a success you know will it be a big success will it go anywhere etc etc and you do have these um day-to-day -day struggles with with your own mind should I say with your own mind so I did a live video last night just before I went to bed I'm gonna keep it private who was speaking about what but what I will tell you was the subject and these are people who are sub to my channel so shout out to you guys who were on my live last night we had a really good chat it was productive in we were helping each other out with general struggles and it's about basically doing what you want to do but external pressures coming from family coming from peers coming from society um, and my advice was I encourage well I suppose I don't have children right I would have loved to have children but that's another whole different ball game um, I don't have children but if I did I would want my kids to be happy whether that is going to work in a shop going to work as a cleaner going to work as a brain surgeon whether you're doing something here financially or here financially or here financially if you are happy that that's a win you have won. If you are happy doing what you're doing in life, you have won. Um, my job isn't crazy pay. In, in fact, it's pretty rubbish pay. But I find it satisfying. Um, but I do struggle with the kind of politics of my job's harder than your job. You know you're slacking because you're not doing a job that's as hard as my job and just general stupid stuff that is almost like playground but it does get in there it does get in there 
And I'm trying to get on a level with that. I'm trying to build my confidence where I'll just go, this is what I'm doing. If you don't like what you're doing and you think my job's dead easy, why don't you go for a job like that? Just have confidence within your own abilities and your belief in what you're doing to tell other people to just get lost. I don't care. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you want me to do. I don't care whether you think I'm good, bad or whatever. Believe in what you're doing. Yes. Believe in what you're doing. I think it's hard. It is harder if you're of a younger age, but I think parents who, who put pressure on their children to go a certain way when they're not happy, it's, you're a bit out of order, in a way. You're a bit out of order. Are you chasing something that you wanted to do and you're wanting and you missed out and you're wanting your child to do it? Or you're wanting your child to follow what you did? At the end of the day, if they don't want to do it and they're happy doing whatever they want to do, that's a for me that is a win i would never put pressure on my child to do something they didn't want to do i just don't understand that mindset personally obviously that's not helping that person because i can't control that but with my nieces obviously they're my nieces again i'm not their parents so that's a whole different ball game but if my nieces wanted to do something i would back them I would back them. It's difficult. It is very difficult, I've got to say. That kind of thing is hard. It's easier to believe po negative things and it's harder to believe positive things and that is basically the long and the short of it. But we non-confident people have got to believe the positives and ignore the negatives. In a nutshell, that is it. We've got to believe the positives, ignore the negatives. So let's try as a group of people who aren't confident to keep telling ourselves that. Believe positives, ignore negatives. Simple. <laughs> simple. It's simple, guys. Didn't you know? <laughs> anyway, that's what I wanted to say and I wanted to get it out there. If you guys are in a similar situation where you have confidence issues, try, try, try. Let's have a mantra. Ignore the negatives, believe the positives. Yeah. Let's keep, keep at that. Keep being positive. Right. Talking of positive things, talking of positivity, we have a lovely off-white sneaker. Now, I won... I won from end, as you can see, from end, I won the Off-White Nike Air Max 90s. Oh yes. Now I went for them in Desert Ore, as I mentioned the other day, I went for them in Desert Ore. I didn't get them in Desert Ore, which was a shame because I wanted them in my size. I did not get them. But I got them in a size 8, comes with the receipt usual night swoosh box we have usual paper lovely paper here they are the black and white colorway of the air max 90 in a uk 8 so it's kind of the usual we know we kind of know what the score is with these now you've got your deconstructions you've got your mesh sort of toe box leather suede oversized stitching on the swoosh um you've got the sort of the little i love these little details on the night on the 90s where they've kind of got little strips of black going across you've got it there as well um, obviously, the, the, not the original ones, so they have the light blue zip tie. Mine there have the light blue s zip ties. You've got the shoelaces on the shoelaces. Um, 
the tag on the side and you know the raw edging that has made these what they are really um, it's a you know people have said oh it's getting overplayed now it's getting overplayed the off-white personally I'm not bored of them I, I'm not I'm okay with having a break from them so these are the last ones obviously today the Serena Williams blazers dropped in the UK on the sneakers app I was unsuccessful unfortunately but I can't complain so far since they've dropped I've got the OG blazers European exclusive Jordan 1s I got the um, white Prestos I got the black Air Force Ones black and white Air Force Ones and now I've got these so those five I've sold and then I bought those on the resale market which you know so I've made a hell of a lot of money from the off-whites I would like them to come back and I would like them to do different silhouettes you know different types of Nike sneakers I would love them to do um, what have they done? I'd love them to do a tailwind I'd love them to do an ACG <gasps> an ACG collaboration now how nice would that be a clothing ACG collaboration along with a shoe that would be amazing they could do an Hirachi collaboration that would be nice um, Nike SB that would be cool so there's lots of scope I think there is lots of scope for more off-whites in my opinion but it was very strange getting a shoe in a size 8 I have to say it was very strange um, they are lovely but I do prefer I think I prefer the um, Air Force Ones in black I think but anyway so who knows you might see the Desert Ores coming my way at some point but you're definitely gonna see next week the Union One Black Toes oh my god I am so excited and then at some point the Storm Blues definitely 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 um so yes i hope you enjoyed this video as i say not everyone not everybody wants to hear the mental health thing that's okay you can always fast forward these things but i do want to keep it as a part of my channel because let's face it it's real life so if you want more of this kind of thing supreme mental health streetwear sneakers then keep it locked in to this channel subscribe if you're not already please like please share these videos don't forget the giveaway at 1000 subs and all about that we'll see you on the next one keep it real guys